In a previous video, I showed you how to make a DIY contact mic, and I told you that you need to encase the whole thing in metal. And the reason for that is to reduce hum. And so today I want to show that to you in a little bit more detail so you can very clearly see and hear what the mic sounds like with and without shielding. And so I have my DIY circuit here connected into an audio interface and I have that going into my computer. And what I'm going to do is record a little bit of silence or supposedly silence and I'm gonna plot the spectrum of that silence on my laptop. And so right now, nothing is properly shielded. This is all just kind of sitting out in the open. And I'll just quickly tap on the disc to verify that I am getting sound through. And then I'll record silence. And this is what the result looks like. So there's this huge spike at 60 hertz. And additionally, you see huge spikes at every integer multiple of 60 hertz. And this is what that sounds like. And I've normalized it in post so you can hear it more clearly. So that's the famous hum and it sounds absolutely awful. And that's because this whole thing acts like a little antenna and it picks up electromagnetic radiation that pretty much permeates the entire built environment. I mean, you're never gonna get away from this. And so now I'm gonna push my circuit down into this box and I'll connect both the box and the lid to ground. And again, I'll record a little bit of silence. And so this new blue line here is what that looks like. And there is still a huge spike at 60 Hertz, although it is seven decibels lower than it was before. So that's an improvement. And so now I'll just wrap the disc in aluminum foil and verify that that's properly connected and I'll do my experiment again and again there's still a really big spike at 60 Hertz but now it's been attenuated by about seven more decibels so that's another good improvement and I suspect that a lot of that 60 Hertz is coming from this horrible wall adapter that I'm using this thing is so noisy and the preamp board does have some filtering built into it that reduces the noise of the power supply but still you can only do so much so I'm gonna get rid of this power supply and put a little lithium polymer battery in there instead and I'll repeat my experiment and so again you can see that 60 hertz spike has been reduced by another 13 decibels so that's a really nice improvement and I suspect the rest of that is being picked up by these alligator clips that I have connecting to the piezo disc really you would want to be using a properly shielded audio cable for this you don't want these wires just flopping around in the breeze like this because these are also acting like little antennas. And so I'll just move this whole thing inside of my box for now and repeat my experiment again. And here's the result of that. And there it is by itself. So that reduced the hum by another 15 decibels about. And this is what that sounds like. And I've normalized it to the same level as the other clip that I played a moment ago. So you can hear this sounds much better than it did with everything just out in the open like that. And there still is a little bit of a spike there. And so just to get a baseline, I completely disconnected my whole circuit and recorded silence with the end of the audio cable just sitting on the table there, not connected to anything. So this is really just the noise of the audio recording interface. And so this is the result of that. And there's not really any significant amount of hum there to speak of. And so these low frequencies here in my signal are almost certainly environmental noise. You know, I live next to a busy road. You know, there are sources of low frequency noise in my apartment. And these are all being picked up a little bit by the microphone. And this 60 Hertz spike in my signal, I think that's a real mechanical vibration. 
Like I think my table is probably actually very slightly vibrating at 60 hertz because I have appliances in my apartment, I have a refrigerator in my apartment, it has a motor which spins is 60 hertz. Not to mention that my table is sitting right on top of this heating grate which produces a lot of noise and after all this is a very sensitive microphone and I think that's what's being picked up there. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. If you like these more technical style videos, leave a comment down below. I know some of you like them and some of you don't, but I've got some more in mind that I'd like to make, so let me know if you'd like to see those. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!